How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Gavin the Gunslinger Let's Play. So in the last episodes we've been fighting invasions, we've been fighting pumpkin moons and all that good stuff. And we've actually started the end game, which is the Lunar Cultists and the Pillars. Um, one of the biggest things I wanted to get out of the Pillars is the Vortex Beta. And I understand I haven't got the best uh, modifier on it, but I've actually run out of money. <laughs> so, yeah, we can either farm some bosses or, yeah, you know, sell, sell all the items in our boxes. I don't know. But Demonic's still pretty good. So, I was looking at our Tower of Guns. And I actually reordered them, so I put the first guns down the bottom, you know, mid-game there, early, uh, early, late hard, ugh, how tongue-tied do I want to be? Late pre-hard mode, there, and then we've got some of the Uzi and our candy corn rifle here. So I actually made a list of the guns that I still need to collect, and I'm using just the page that is guns on the wiki. Um, so I'm not counting things like space gun and stuff like that, just bullet guns. So we need about eight or nine more guns with the SDMG being the crowning achievement of the Moon Lord. So I thought the first thing we would do is actually finish off our tower here. And I've got a bit of a design in mind and something I haven't really built before. So I'm going to give it a shot and let's see how it turns out. As always, we'll do this to a bit of music and speed build it and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I think we're pretty much finished here. So I had a lot of fun designing this, so I had an idea to make wings, but then as I was designing them, I'm like, oh, they kind of look like guns. So there's the handle, the trigger, uh, the barrels along here, and I might play around in the future putting some uh, cloud bubbles, uh, cloud blocks coming out for smoke, and uh, the head's kind of like some sort of demon head thing. And I went down to hell and got some living fire blocks, and I think they kind of work kind of cool in there. So, one of our next things to do is to collect some of the missing guns. And some of the ones that are standing out to me... Well, I'll read them out quickly, actually. So, we need another Mega Shark, uh, because I'm currently using mine. Oh, I'm not... Actually... Yeah, no, I've still got it in my inventory. Uh, we need a Mega Shark, a Venus Magnum, a Tactical Shotgun, uh, a Xenopopper Chain Gun, another Vortex Beater, because I'm using that again. Uh, the coin gun, maybe, and the SDMG. So there's quite a few to get. Um, I think Venus Magnum might be a, a fun one to start with. So let's go beat up some Planteras. Okay, we found our first Plantera bulb. Let's do this, people. And hopefully it doesn't take too many of these leafy beasts to get what we want. Okay, here she comes. So my arena is just a bit to the... Just a bit to the north, but... <laughs> I don't think this is going to take too long with the Vortex Beater, so... Nope, not too long at all. In fact, I can probably just tank her. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, endgame stuff! Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> oh my gosh, what drops? A leaf blower! Goodness. I mean, technically, it kind of shoots projectiles, which is fun, but it's not what we're after. Okay, let's try again. Come on! Another leaf blower! Why? <laughs> oh no. 
Oh gosh. Come on, Venus Magnum. You can do it. And we're gonna get it. A nettle burst. Whoa. Oh, and a pygmy staff. <laughs> oh gosh, not this time. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Plantera. You know you want to drop the magical Venus Magnum. Come on. Do it for Gavin. How many of you do I have to kill? Goodness me. Alright, we've almost got her. Thankfully, she's dying pretty easy. That is helping. Oh, oh, oh! Yes. Awesome. Actually, if that uh, was auto fire, it'd actually be a pretty good handgun. But um, we finally got it. Yes. That's beautiful. Let's go put it straight back on our wall. Uh, we may as well. So we'll fly back up and complete the monument as we're going. Boop. Beautiful. All right, to the dungeon. Let's go get a sniper rifle and a tactical shotgun. And while it's night time, I'll buy the illegal gun parts so we can start making the mega shark too. Okay, so here we are in the dungeon. And I'm actually pretty close to the entrance, but just as I was making my way in here, I got attacked by a tactical uh, skeleton. Uh, which means I can set up one of my usual little platform sort of chappy farm things and I should be able to farm them here which is cool so what we need to do is get rid of all this stuff we don't need that um, platforms let's make a few platforms no no none of that and yeah, oh, there we go. There's plenty down there. I know I can just stay in my UFO, but in tight spaces, it's almost better to not be on a, a mount. They don't turn that quick. Beautiful. So. Yep, sounds like mobs are spawning, which is cool. Uh, water candle. No, unfortunately. Oh yeah, there's the tactical shotgun. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I was starting to doubt if we would ever get one. Beautiful. Actually, it's a pretty nice gun. Obviously not as good as our Vortex Beta, but uh, still pretty nice. Okay, we need to relocate and find a spot where... Where only the... Well, where we've got a chance for skeleton snipers to spawn. Oh yeah, sniper rifle, sweet. Oh goodness, wow. That's a massive damage, holy moly. I wonder if it, if you can use it though, like, say you could get critical strike all the way up. I don't know, could you use it against Moon Lord? Who knows. So I've got a bit of a loot box going here, but um, it's gonna be hard to get the loot out while I'm trying to fight off these guys. So anyway, let's get rid of anything we don't need. And then we'll grab whatever loot we can and make a break for it, I think. Woof! That was intense. Holy moly. So plenty of mobs to fight in there, that's for sure. Okay, so we picked up then. We got the sniper rifle, which is cool. Ah, uh, the rocket launcher, I don't think that's counted in our in our list. I got the tactical shotgun, which is awesome. I'll take my helmet off so you can see me. <laughs> okay, so we're getting close, so let's check a few off our list. So tactical shotgun, check, beautiful. 
So now we need Xeno Popper, Chain Gun, um, and the Gatling Gator, which is sold randomly by the merchant. But uh, let's make the Mega Shark next. Okay, let's get this Mega Shark forged. And beautiful. So, yeah, got everything. Just went and uh, slaughtered some sharks by the sea, which is uh, always, always fun. I mean, the poor sharkies. You know, they did try and eat me, so I guess it was self defense. Alright, so I'll need to buy another mini shark to put there. And let's put the Mega Shark on this. There we go. That's going good. Cool, cool, cool. So Xeno Popper Chain Gun Vortex Beta. And then probably Coin Gun and SDMG up there. So we're so close. And I think I'll take a break from gun hunting. Um, because it's quite a time consuming process. It's fun. Um, especially with end game equipment, it's you can just smash mobs. But um, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing another pillar or two. Uh, so let's put the mini shark down. Beautiful. Oh, look at all these guns. So good. Okay. So, let's see. So what we need to do is craft some potions if we're going to take on a pillar. Um, so let's go to our good old potion box. And let's see what we can make. So this is different. We're on a Crimson World in Gavin's series, so we can make things like... Uh, heart reach potions, which is awesome. Although I've just run out of crimson tiger fish, so I'll need to make some more of those. Uh, we've got plenty of prismite fish, so we can make lots of life force. And armored cave fish are pretty common, so endurance potions are pretty easy to make. And it looks like we just run out of water bottles, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Luckily, we've got lots of nice sand though, so that's cool. So, let's just make a little bit. We don't need too much. And change them into bottles. <clears throat> and we'll save some sand for next time. And water. Water, water, water. Where do I have water? There should be some just here. Oh, that's right. There's a pillar active right here. <gasps> oh no! I just want some water! Just let me get water! I don't want to fight! <laughs> I don't want to fight yet! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how close the solar pillar is to my base. Holy moly. We're gonna have to deal with that. And I agree, uh, I asked you recently what's your least favorite uh, of the four pillars, and a lot of you said solar pillar. And I'm inclined to agree, it is very, very tough. And not just because, like, I know to stay on the ground to avoid the uh, crawl to peed or whatever it's called, but yeah, the mobs in that one just seem to be hit so hard, it's just crazy. Okay, let's make some iron skin and some regen. It's not bad. Heart reach, endurance, life force, all the good ones. I don't think I'm missing anything critical. Let's go fight some pillars. Okay, let's go into the chaos that is the solar area. And I've subbed in for my chlorified bullets because the less, less aiming I need to do against these crazy things, the better. Um, they are thick and fast, these mobs. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I was chipping away at them before. Um, just as I've flown past a few times, so we probably won't have to kill the full hundred, I'm thinking. Although I haven't killed that many, so there's probably, yeah, maybe 60 to go or so. Oh my gosh. I don't really have a strategy for fighting them, I haven't really studied it that much. Um, they seem to be able to phase through blocks, so I don't think just hiding in a, in a hole helps. Although I haven't really tried it either. So like just hiding in a hole, shooting out of the hole. Does this work? No, see those things, what are they called? There's like meteorite ball guys. <laughs> I'm not calling them a very good one. Meteorite ball, like, is that the best you can describe them, Happy? Let's see if we can take this out nice and quick. Come on. Come on, Al. <laughs> 
so many mobs. We've almost got it. And the cool thing is, too, we can actually use other fragments to um, craft uh, vortex stuff if we need to. Um, we can also use our excess fragments to summon the Moon Lord as well, which is kind of cool. So as I'm recording this, guys, uh, the giveaway is about to close. I'm um, having a bit of a late night. I've just, I just felt like staying up. And um, yeah, I might as well stay up and do the draw as well, rather than go to sleep just for a few hours. So yeah, good luck to everyone that's entered. And yeah, thanks, thanks for the support of, the, of our channel, you know, Happy Days Games. It really means a lot to me. And um, yeah, look, you know, it's, I'm looking forward to doing some cool new things in the future. And I'll actually be update, updating. Uh, I'll have a video out today or tomorrow, like a community update video. Uh, I've got, got a few plans on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And just a few more fan-based things that we've been talking about. They won't be surprises to you. But uh, just to make them more official within a video. And also, considering that our Expert and Gavin series are almost over as well, a uh, few things I'd want to talk about with the daily series and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, Moon Lord's coming! Okay, I'll come back for these fragments later. We better get back to base, ready for action. So I've just got a little battle platform here. Hopefully it goes okay. And thanks as always for watching another episode of Gavin the Gunslinger. I have a feeling that the next episode will be our finale. Uh, with us just about to beat the Moon Lord and our gun gallery almost completed, it feels about time for Gavin's adventures to come to an end. But uh, just like with the Serena series, guys, when we do finish a series, it does open the door to start a new one. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And Gavin's series has been so much fun. I love the gun class. It's so good. All right, time for some shout-outs as always. And our first one is from Elements of MC, and he's asked me to say in a gangster voice, which is, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I'm like the most ungangster person on the planet, but I'll try. He's asked me to say where the cookie's at in a gangster voice, so, um, <laughs> where the cookie's, <laughs> where the, that's pathetic, <laughs> yo, where the cookie's at? <laughs> Thanks, Elements, that's awesome. Our uh, next one is from X Austin, and they've asked me to say in a Jaina voice. Oh, Jaina. Um, they've asked me to say, Don't do it! For, don't do it for cookies! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thanks, X Austin, that's awesome. Alright, our next one is, it's kind of a nice message, I like it. Um, it's from Nicholas Nasia, and they've asked me to say, No matter what you eat, the best food to eat is cookies. Cookies are good for the soul. And I don't think he meant it to be this, you know, big, insightful, deep, meaningful message. But if you think about it, like, say you're having a rough day. Like, the best thing you can do is just get one nice thing that you like to eat. Like, a little treat. And, you know, just find somewhere nice to sit down and just enjoy eating it. Like, I know I've done that with cookies before. And, you know, just get one of those giant cookies. And if I've had a tough day, like... I just sit down, you know, put some music on or something and just enjoy the cookie and be like, ah, so good. <laughs> okay, our next one is from the Jaming Broadcast. And they've asked me to say in a deep voice, they've asked me to say, I am Cookie Man, fear me. <laughs> Thanks, Jaming, that's awesome. And our last one is from the Boom Bandit. And they've asked me to say, get over here. To the cookie store. <laughs> I think it's a Mortal Kombat reference from Scorpion. I think is the character that says that. Not the cookie store part. To get over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey right, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. And comments today is let me know what you want to see in the last episode of Gavin Gunslinger. I'll do a slightly longer episode so we can fit everything in. Got to finish the gun tower. Got to beat the Moon Lord. Hopefully get some Vortex armor happening. That'd be really nice. Uh, probably do a cinematic epilogue like I did with Serena, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, lots of good stuff happening. Uh, the giveaway is being drawn in like... I'm just checking the time. I'm up recording late tonight. 
Uh, it's about seven hours from now. So good luck if you've entered. And yeah, you know, thanks for supporting our channel. And, you know, this, this giveaway is just my little way of saying thanks to you. I know it's not much, but, you know, I'm just doing what I can here. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click that little HC icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> all right, until next time, you all stay happy. I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!